right now, Houston police are releasing 911 calls from the moments before and after police shot and killed an armed man in southeast Houston. The confrontation was caught on police body cameras and a witness's cell phone. Channel 2's Brandon Walker is live downtown with new details on this one. Brandon? Yeah, and Chris, there is a lot of dispute as to where the facts are. You've got witnesses who say one thing. You've got the Houston Police Department and their part of the story, as we heard outlined today from Houston Police Chief Art Acevedo, who says that this shooting was justified, and he walked reporters through part of the investigation or where the investigation stands into why he says that's the case. That includes those two 911 audio recordings, one from a man who said that he saw a man walking across Scott Street with a gun, the other from a woman who told dispatcher she could see a man, quote, trying to jump the officer. The man shot and killed has been identified by his wife as 30-year-old Rayshard Scales, and today Chief Acevedo showed a picture of what he says was the replica 9mm BB gun Scales had on him yesterday. This gun is an exact replica of a 9mm pistol, and this is the actual firearm that that individual had yesterday. I think that everyone is entitled to an opinion. But we have to be guided by the law, by the evidence, and by the facts. Yeah, the chief there addressing concerns within those in the community, and we'll talk about that in a second. But right now, a closer look at the BB gun police say Scales had on him, although, as I mentioned, there is dispute to that from witnesses. Scales' common law wife tells Channel 2 that he was 30 years old. Cell phone video you're seeing now from the scene yesterday at the intersection of Scott Street and Mount Pleasant shows Scales with an officer walking around an HPD squad video. This is the moment when backup arrived. This is five minutes after the encounter began according to police. Backup arrived and the initial officer discharged his weapon. Scales' wife, though, says he didn't own a gun and says that she was on the phone with him leading up to when she heard an officer tell Scales to get on the ground. Suppose somebody called and said that he had a gun, but he's not known to carry guns. He don't own a gun. And I just don't feel that it was right how they shot him down like he was just a dog. And that gets us to the other part of the story from Nakia Emmett. She adds Scales struggled with his mental health and thinks this matter could have been de-escalated better without his death, as she put it. Three other witnesses on scene spoke to me by phone today, and they say that they did not see a weapon and thinks that the officers jumped to conclusions here. Chief Acevedo says, though, the picture of the gun is confirmation. He also says that he's reviewed body cam footage from the scene. When asked when that would be released, he says that'll be released at a later date because fact family of Mr. Scales haven't received it either. The investigation here is still underway. We're live downtown tonight. I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC Channel 2 News.